Okay. I got to tell you one thing. Uh, we still got plenty of action to go here on our championship wrestling. And before I talk to uh, Jerry Lawler and Phil Hickerson, I wish you guys would take a look at what the fabulous Freebirds had to say they about... They had something to say after that beating we just gave them? They had something to say after that? Just take a oh, listen God, to this. Oh, yeah. You know, it seems to me, man, that what is going down here, or what is actually happening, is becoming what you would call a southern rivalry. That's right, maybe you could call it a state rivalry. Because last week, you see, Lawler, we done got rid of Idol. I don't know what, no more a bad street. And you had to go out and search and you couldn't get nobody to answer the phone. So you had to look in your backyard. And you went and you got Tennessee's toughest guy from Jackson, Tennessee. A no good Benedict Arnold, a coward. And now it's like Tennessee against Georgia, man. And when I think about Tennessee against Georgia, have you ever heard of a Heisman candidate from the state of Tennessee? Have you ever seen Memphis State ranked in the top 30? Have you ever seen the University of Tennessee in the top 20? You see Georgia up there all the time, don't you? Just like you see the Freebirds up there, man, because that's the way we are. We back Dixie. And when the Marquis says wrestling, that's what we do, Jack. And that's what we did last Monday night. We out wrestle them. So what do they want to do now? They don't want to wrestle, man. They want to put tape around their fist. Why? You jealous, huh? Are you jealous that you don't have a face like this or this? Are you jealous because when you walk down the aisle that fiancés, girlfriends, wives, and even daughters quiver and shiver and get that funny feeling, huh? You want to mess our faces up because you just because they've been in bars and knocked out a bunch of drunks, man. We're not a bunch of drunks, you know. Did I ever say I was a professional boxer? No. Did I ever say that I wanted to go in and fight like a boxer? No. But I am a professional wrestler, man. And you know this is a conspiracy against the Freebirds. They take and they put us in a match with Tate Fist. Well, let me tell you something about this, what I think about it. I think about you, the guy that calls themselves the king. I think you're a disgrace. To the whole wide world, man, I knew the real king, Lawler. I knew it, and he didn't like you, and he didn't like nobody in Memphis. That's how come he put the gate up around his house to keep all y'all dirt out. Now let me tell you something, boy. If you want to come in and you want to tape your fist up, Will you come right on, you geek, you? Because I got something for you, man. I've been doing this all my life, and you're sticking me in a tape fist match, and I'm a professional wrestler. I never claimed to be a boxer in my life, but if you want some of it, if you want to back me in the corner, man, you just back us in the corner, because we'll take care of you, Lawler. We got a surprise. You just wait. Yeah, well, we'll be waiting, all right, come Monday night down there. It's going to be one of those blazing, raging, taped fist match. Really not pretty at all. No, nothing pretty at all. Speaking of pretty, can you imagine a couple of jerks like that talking about somebody being jealous of their faces? That Terry Gordy is so... I'd knock his teeth out, but I don't want to do him any favors. Let me tell you something, Terry Gordy and Michael Hayes, you couple of jerks. You talk about, you know, wrestling... You talk about you wanted to wrestle, you don't know a wrist lock from a wrist watch. You don't know how to wrestle. All you know how to do is fight, kick, bite, and stomp. Well, brother, you're looking at two people right here that can do that with the best of them. Phil Hickerson told me over the week, you know, I've gotten to know Phil pretty well, and he told me a little bit about his past. He said every now and then up there in Jackson, Tennessee, the word would filter down through the grapevine down to Phil that somebody in town was feeling kind of bad, thought that they might be as tough as Phil. Well, all he would do is he'd send a word out. He'd send him a time and a place to meet him. He'd sit back and he'd tape his fist up and he'd go down there and meet him and he'd show him that they wasn't so bad. Well, that's what we're going to do, brother. We're going to tape our fists up and we're going to show you what bad street really is like. We're going to show you that you ain't that bad, you couple of long-haired right. sissies. I'm going to tell you something, brother. You're looking at it right here. A pair of kings will beat a pair of queens any day. I can assure you that. Terry Gordy said right there, he said he wasn't no boxer. 
He wasn't a boxer. Well, neither the king and Phil Hickson, we're not the boxers either. But brother, when I take the fist up, I become a brawler. And brother, ain't nobody in this area or in the world can brawl better than Phil Hickson. So brother, bring it on, free birds, because we're going to kick the you-know-what out of the birds. You know what I mean? We done it. We done it. We can do it again like a total order. Man, there ain't no stopping us now, man. We're going. We are going, and the free birds is going to fight the dust. The Labor Day Massacre. That's what it's going to be. That's right, baby. Labor you Day. hear it from Phil Higgerson in the game, Gary Law. Yeah. If they were so tough, if they wanted to find us so bad, brother, they'd know where we are every week, every Saturday morning. We're right here at 11 o'clock, but it's convenient that they don't even seem to show up. Is that right, Lance? I hear you. 